Welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Marty from Marty's channel and if you want to know how to calibrate and why you need to calibrate the sensors on your air to s drone or other drones then stay tuned this video is for you. Sensors on the drone. There's basically three of them. One is the obstacle avoidance sensors, so you don't crash into anything, try not to. There's the compass, which gives direction, of course. And there's also the IMU, or the Inertial Measurement Unit. First of all, we're going to look at the IMU. What does it do? Well, basically what it does, it lets the drone know where zero motion is. If you could draw a line in the sky, a horizontal line, and you had your drone sitting in the middle of that line, and when you let go of the sticks on the joystick, the drone would drift a little either to the left or to the right, and perhaps even backwards a little bit. Then I say, your chances are you need to calibrate your IMU. So I'm going to show you a short video on how to calibrate your IMU on the Air 2S drone. Let's go. I like to remove the propellers first. Not essential, but I like to do it for safety. Okay, let's power the drone on now. And once that's all done, we make sure that the controller is turned on, obviously. And uh, we'll make sure it's all connected to the controller. Now, let's bolt in the legs, or the arms, or the wings, whatever you'd like to call them, really. That just helps to give it a bit of a flat surface on the side and that when we turn the drone over as we do the calibration. Okay, so hitting the three dots on the right hand side of the screen now, go to safety and then we'll scroll down to IMU. You'll see at the moment it says normal because this has already been calibrated this drone. But that's okay, we'll redo it. And hit the start button. Now we need to have the aircraft sitting exactly the way it is in the illustration, which I've done there. And when it's ready, it'll start flashing to go to the next maneuver, which is on its side, with the top of it facing me or facing out towards where you are. Once again, the green light's indicating all good on that step. Place the drone now in the third illustration, which is upside down to the right, facing the right. And wait for the indicator, there's the indicator. So far, so good. Placing the drone now as per the illustration. It's in step number four. Number four is complete. Now what I'll do here is just demonstrate, oh no, I put it up the wrong way. Look at the illustration, look at the drone. So it won't start calibrating that step until it's in the right position. So there we go, and in a moment it should shut off. There it goes. Meaning that the calibration there is now almost complete. Setting the drone back down, waiting for it to reboot, and that's what it'll do. In a moment it will say on the screen, calibration complete. And that's all there is to it. Okay, back to the studio now. Well, I hope you found that interesting about the IMU calibration. Now let's have a look at the compass. I think we all know what a compass does, but the drone needs to know what direction it's going to. So its compass is very important that it's calibrated properly. Signs of a bad calibration are flyaways, or when you try to do a precision landing, it doesn't land exactly where it took off from. Another way we know, it'll tell us on the Fly app, your compass needs calibrating. If you go and fly a long way away from where you last flew, I strongly recommend that you calibrate your compass. Reason being is, is that the Earth has a magnetic field. And because of the curvature of the Earth, as we move around that curvature in relation to the magnetic field, it changes. So very important that if you go a long way, I would do it 
probably if I went say 50 kilometers away, I'm not too sure what that is in miles, I would recalibrate the compass. What I'm going to show you today is how to calibrate your compass and do it correctly. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to obviously turn our controller on, followed by our aircraft. While we're waiting for that to boot up, I'd like to let you know that don't calibrate your drone over reinforced concrete or any, near anything metal or anything that could have electrical interference. It will not work with you very well with your calibration. The other thing is, before I actually start the calibration, I want to show you how to rotate the drone, which you will see during the calibration process. So I just want to show you this, so when we get to that bit, I'll know what to do. Some people like to horizontally rotate their drone this way. The problem with that is, is that if you take the measurement from here around to when we're here, that's about, about a metre. So already you're a metre out with your calibration. The correct way to do it is to pivot it on the one spot. So I'd like to use my landing mat as a point of reference. So hold it over the mat and I begin the horizontal and the same with the vertical over the top and around we go and so on okay so I just thought I'd point that out now for the calibration first of all hit the three dots up on the right hand top of your screen and under safety you can scroll down to where it says compass under sensors there and on the right hand side, side it says calibrate in blue so we'll go ahead and press that now we're ready to start when we start the leads on the drone will go yellow the illustration as you can see there is showing us that we're doing the horizontal rotation and that will change once the horizontal has been done There you go, they've gone green now the back leads, I'll put it down to that camera there, maybe you can see, a solid green. And that means it's time to do the vertical calibration, as you'll see in the illustration on the screen too. So we put it up and do exactly the same thing, keeping it there, it goes around until those green lights start flashing. There they are, they're starting to flash now. And that's all there is to it. So I'll see you inside. Bye for now. Well, I hope that was helpful to you about the compass calibration. Now let's take a look at the vision sensors. What do the vision sensors do? Basically, they're like eyes for the drone. In fact, they even look like eyes on my Air 2S. <laughs> we have front, upward facing, and rear and downward facing sensors on this particular model. Other drones, some other drones have side sensors and a few other different ones. What they do is basically is look, look for obstructions in the way. They know how far away an obstruction is and start to prepare the drone to avoid that obstruction. When you're trying to land, it can see the ground. So when you're doing a precision landing, it will remember the contour and the contrast of the area from where it took off from. That's why I like to use a landing pad, for example, so that the drone has got something really good to see. So if you could imagine, if you walked around and then just covered up one of your eyes and tried walking around and you can't sort of see out of that side, so you would have to make an erratic move with your head and turn it that way or turn it that way to see what the obstruction is or if there's an obstruction. It's important to have your vision sensors calibrated correctly. Now on my particular model, they will self calibrate, they auto calibrate. But if you're still having trouble like fly away and problems with landing and that kind of thing, then you may need to do it manually. And that's what I'm going to show you today. 
and this applies to most drones. So, without any further ado, let's go and have a look at my crude video of vision sensors. So first of all, let's connect the drone to the computer. On the side door there, you'll see there's a USB input. It's a USB-C input. So using your USB-C cable, plug it into your drone, and then into your computer. Next thing we need to do is to bring up the DJI Assistant 2. The right one can be found at DJI to suit your particular drone. Power up the drone, get that all happening and you will see it will come up as an icon on the Assistant. Go ahead and click that and now it will show you the firmware that's uh, currently in it. And on the left, go down to Calibration, click that and it'll give you a short uh, tutorial on how to correctly hold your drone during calibration. Very important to pay attention to this. So we want to pan the drone from one position, not move it around the screen like you're seeing now. That won't work. And make sure that USB cable, well, there's no obstructions in front of it. Okay, here's a bit of a, a crude picture I put together showing the drone now with the front sensors. We want to lock the red and green squares together or outlines until they turn blue and that's locked in. Now we need to follow the blue coloured in pattern. Notice how the drone does not move around, we just leave it at one spot and pan. Very important. So, uh, now going further away from the screen as instructed and doing the same thing. This is for the front vision sensors and in a moment it will now demonstrate you look at the illustration on how to move the drone now to do the bottom sensors once it's in position it'll be detected by the computer and once again lock in the distance this is the closer into the screen distance once that's happened it'll ask you to go away from the screen and there we have it that's the bottom vision sensors almost done now follow the prompt on the right there and showing you now we're going to do the backward sensors so we adjust it distance from the screen until we get that locked and then follow the pattern Mind you, I'm not very good at following the pattern, <laughs> but it takes a bit of practice. Okay, now further away from the screen, blue line's locked. Now we follow it again, remembering to pivot the drone in one spot, don't move it around with the squares, but rather twist the drone to follow. This time it's gone on the Air 2S, it has upward sensors and upward sensors drone is basically at 45 degrees to the screen so I can see those top sensors. Moving it in until it's right, follow the squares. And at the moment we'll just pull it back out a little bit. Locked in, following the squares. Basically, there's two lots of movements per uh, sensors, so back, front, and so on. Then it'll do a brief calculation of the data it received from what you've just done. Then it will say, calibration complete. Don't forget to restart your drone after this, and that'll lock in all the data. Well, I hope you found my video interesting. It's time for me to go now. So... Why not come back next time, put the kettle on, and we'll have a nice hot cuppa and a bit of a chat. Bye for now.